Here he is. Got a little micro digger today. From uh, Hodgson's, of course. Hello, everyone, that's the first bar of foot. morning well I say good it's literally just started to rain as I hit play and as you can tell by my mop head it's quite a uh, it's a day today it's funny because we, um, we held off doing this job because we are starting to rain the last few days and uh, the day that we're doing it is the day it decides to rain of course so uh, that's just how we're gonna do it but today is the start of a big extension well not as big as a uh, a &E extension, but a big one for Stephen Alex. And uh, yeah, so today's going to be the dig day. With Jason with us. I'll just show you around here. So he's not going. We're not getting skips this time because he's got um, he's got somebody who's going to do the grab for us. So we just spent a bit this morning getting all the boards put down to put all the crap here, and the grab is just going to take it from here. So these are a mix of our boards and a mix of the Robbie and Robbie's boards. Thanks for supplying us with some boards that should uh, cover us nicely for that rubbish so I'll take you around to the uh, to the job okay. and there you go so this is going to be the start of the job the start of the dig I think we're going from that pillar to that wall obviously so it's going to be a big L shaped nice sizable extension that so that's the plan Dad and Jason are all supplied up. What do you think you are with these bloody cups? You think you're at Costa? I do. I know, yeah. So, um, got all our kit ready. We've got the breaker over there. We've got a laser level to set out. We've got a uh, gold still saw. So, we've got ourselves set up. We've got a digger from Hodgson's coming soon as well. So, we'll film that arriving. And obviously, we've uh, borrowed some power. We've got a little headquarters now. GoPros are, batteries are charging in a little hub. Um, yeah, so we'll get you set up somewhere where we get set up and we'll just do what we can while while the rain holds off. Which is luck. So, we have our marker. Dad, do you want to tell us what that's about? That's the core of our building. Because we're not going to the end there, we're coming in a little bit. We're coming just off that pillar there. And this, so, what we're going to do is going to take all the flags up. We're going to cut them because they're, they're solid. Take some getting up, so we're going to cut them. Mark up, cut them where they're going to stay. We're going to cut, cut over to allow for April to go in there. And we're going to cut back a hundred and then you can put um, a row of block pavers in there just to like border it if you like but you might change it obviously you're going to have a building here and you've got this little triangle of grey you might get them back and change that and bring the white up to the conservatory or whatever but that's up to him so we'll just cut that off as a straight line so we can that allows our 100 mil for a block paver and then 50 mil underneath that for a spread because we'll just dig a bit of the foundation make it 600 this is um, it's, it's only going to be 
be it's only going to be a 250 wall, 50 mil cavity, so we don't actually have to go 600 wide. We'll see what the ground's like. We might just go 600 anyway. And uh, because it's such a big slab, we're going to um, it's going to be a four-inch slab, but we're going to reinforce this. So all you people in the comments, especially you, Martin, it's reinforcing going in this one, just to make it awkward for us. There you go. Here he is, got a little micro digger today, from uh, Hodgson's of course. Hodgson's, you go to for hiring equipment. A bit smaller than the last digger. We're just bringing it across this, this stuff and the flags and that. We're going for the smaller one. It's still better than uh, hand digging. Let's get it in.
So, here's one for you. If anyone knows the answer to this, why is there so much pipe bedding and no pipes? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we've not come across any pipes yet, and that pipe bedding's still going. So, I don't know. So, other than that pipe bedding, I think it's going all right so far, not, not come wood. We've uh, managed to get up a load of flags, and um, I've got them moved over here. So, just gonna keep these going, when we get more, more of them up. Uh, you getting the bucket trail out. Yeah. So I'm just keeping stuff, uh, I'm keeping everything in motion while they do the uh, digging and such. So I'm getting all the barriers move, moved over to the designated zone. And uh, I'm also moving the, the flags and uh, everything else. So yeah, like, like just, I just said, I'll give this a quick sweep up and um, keep you updated what happens here. Very, uh, very strange. But I said, isn't it? You never know what you're gonna get until you start digging. Get, you can get a million pipes, you can get no pipes, and plenty of pipe bedding. Oh, Alright, I'll we'll catch you in a minute. And here we are, day two. As you can tell, it's a lot nicer than yesterday already. But the catch is, it's gonna be cold. So, we should go battle on and keep working. Because the more we work, the hotter we'll get, so. And I'm sure as Dad showing you yesterday, we've got a finished height here for the tough ground. Uh, Dad's still figuring out what he wants to do for this part here. But what, what's certain is we're gonna get some lintels punched into the house. I think he's just deciding what to do with the concrete, but... So, the plan is, get the rest of this down to this height. All this hardcore is going to be reused. We're going to just keep it here and uh, backfill the rest, because... No point taking all that out when there's good hardcore there, so... As you can hear, Jason's already on it, so... Instead of getting some measuring, measuring done, I'll get the tools out and... Uh, get this thing cracked out, shall we?
Right, what well, are we there? About two foot down? Uh, I think, yeah, I think about two foot down. And we're and still we're... digging these concrete pads out. This, that one, just a, that one's seeming very hard. This one's ridiculous. So one, it just, just pulled out, this is two foot down. This is for a nine inch pillar with a bacoda sat on top of it. Oh, Jesus. And we can't get the digger through till this pad's out. So it's all handball at the moment. It's a bit of a struggle, but yeah. we're making progress at least. Yeah. Yeah, pass me the camera. Take a look for yourselves how deep this goes. This is the start of it. And it's still going down all down here. And into the trench as well, there's still more in there. Yeah. Okay. So. This is uh, another baptism by fire, our first extension since we're back. <laughs> Just thought I would give you a quick update on the pile and uh, I'll tell you what, if that's how much we've got now and you've seen how much we've still got, whew, I think all these boards are going to get filled and uh, recently found out that it's, uh, it's not a grab wagon, it um, comes on a trailer and we load it, load it onto a trailer with this barrow so <laughs> we need to book an extra day just to uh, get the
dragging because I feel it. Right, Alex is away in the barrow, Jason's digging away. We're, this is absolute shit here. That was like pipe bedding over there and then sand, red sand, like fill sand like that. This is just absolute shit. So we seem to be we seem to have hit the good stuff now. So I think we're gonna do the same as over there. We're gonna put the put the concrete in, knock it into a pocket, reinforce it across this bad bit, and then put um probably a three meter concrete lintel bust into there as well, just to spread the load. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. We're not getting any concrete in here today. We've got a got all the remedial stuff on the on the uh, steels and stuff to do so we'll try and get that done today maybe concrete it tomorrow or Saturday morning which is tomorrow or Monday we'll uh, keep you posted but uh, so far we're, bring, we're back into the good ground now that's probably about seven foot so we'll put you back on time lapse for a bit The end is nigh. We've almost got there. Dad's, uh, Dad and Jason have been digging away. Oh, we... the digger. Yeah. So we've uh, just got that little bit to get out, and some potentially good news. If you look, it's not leading anywhere that pipe. So, done it like we assumed it was going to return and connect to that uh, gully over there. But um, no. There's not even a sign of a drip that's been done out here. So it, definitely it definitely doesn't go to the manhole. So it could be a dead one, so. No way knowing. Yeah. Yeah. But like if we, if, if we find out for sure that it's dead, we can get rid of that, but yeah. we'll see. But we're almost there. Jason's just getting the digger shifted now because we've rang up Hodgson's, they're ready to come pick it up. Big thank you to them again for saving the day. Not that well, they're not sponsors, but you know. <laughs> they're always our go-to. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so. Once yeah. Jason's finished with Just that. Jason now, and ne next time we get a dig, it's, it's always going to be a micro. And uh, it's not even 12 o'clock yet, so. So, what I'm doing here is that's all the depth, but I'm going under the pipes, round to the, we're going to dig extra depth in the corner, and we're going to put some reinforcing under this and have the concrete run through underneath the pipes. Just off. So, we don't want any breaks in the concrete, we want it on core. And then we're going to, I'm pretty sure, we're going to. Uh, Gonna get a couple of sheets of reinforcing and put one one layer of reinforcing right through the whole thing. And that way it bridges and you head off to berries and get some steam. Eight 
goes right by where I live. They, they, have, they have a big, they have a big scrap place now and everything. Yeah. Huge grey might have been. I don't know if there they are. So there you have it. Just while they're, they're getting that set up, I'll give you a quick show of the footing. All right, so now the laser's on, and as you can hear, Dad and Jason are getting the nails set out for the concrete. So getting it lasered down, and then we're getting the nails put in, spraying them red. And there's our level. So, just while they're doing that, here's a good look at the, uh, at the footing. And then turns around, and this is where we're going to be sitting the mesh and the lintels, I believe. So, we're going to, once we've done all the nails and all that, I think we're going to set the mesh in here, have it sit on here, get the concrete on, and at least then it's got something to brace onto then. So, let me show you, know the, show you the other side as well. That cut, is that where your thing is? You cut so it's there. Right up to there. I'll have to pack that up. And this side is a lot more reinforced. Look at that. So again, it's going to sit on here. And we're going to string the lintels across as well, I believe. So I'll, uh, I'll get you set up so you can watch Dad and Jason get the rest set up. Spray, can, there's a spray cap in it, can you get me that please?
you go. All set up for the concrete tomorrow. So I'll give you one last little look over quick. So all the mesh has been put in. It's sat on the block pavers, so it's not uh, on the ground. It's going to be in the middle of the concrete. Uh, it's been zip tied together. Been uh, knocked into the uh, wall, so it's in the house. This has been boarded off. It's all ready. And uh, obviously as well, when we come to slab it, it's half finished because all the hardcore's there. So we'll just like level that up, get it um, working and all that. But then that comes later. And uh, I'll take you over and see this pile. And there you go. There's that monster of a pile. That was a uh, 99% done by me. And it was tiring. <laughs> but that's all done. So once. Uh, once we're ready for that to get taken away, we'll get it get it knocked away. But yeah, that's uh, the dig is done. Big thank you to Hodgins. I mean, obviously we are. Uh, it's our go-to and lifesaver. 25 years too. But um, and also big thanks to Jason. Without uh, without them too, it wouldn't have been done in two days. Probably like a week. <laughs> but. A vast, massive relief that, that dig's done. So, um, oh, speak of the devil, they're going to pick up, they're going to pick it up <laughs> just in the nick of time. Really <laughs> typical, <laughs> but so yeah, that's the dig done. Ready for the concrete tomorrow. That'll be dad's, dad's department tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow, I'm getting this tamed. So, I'll uh, I'll pass it to dad. And he'll, uh... You're talking loud enough. Yeah. I'll pass you over to Dad, and when you when you'll have him, he'll be tomorrow. So.